the movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Chimpanzee Caesar stirs a revolt of his primate brothers thanks to a wonder drug that makes him super smart. An all-out ape coup ensues and, yeah, not good for us humans. So could something like this actually happen? Could we make animals smarter? It certainly exists as a, as a possibility that as we, especially as we learn more about the genes that make us special, uh, as the movie portrays with gene therapy, it would be in, kind of in principle possible to think about delivering these genes to other animals. And so it's certainly not implausible that, uh, in kind of in principle, that we could uh, use these kinds of technologies to augment ape intelligence. This one. Okay, so smarter apes, not impossible. But what about us? Any chance we could find a magic pill that enhances our own intelligence? Caffeine is about the best we have right now to enhance our own uh, cognition, but there certainly are, is research underway looking at these de development of these kinds of drugs. Of course, drugs like this raise all kinds of ethical questions. What's the difference between using a drug to help someone who has a disability versus enhancing somebody who doesn't have a disability? What's the potential for abuse? What are the potential for issues having to do with access? Would it be fair if only a certain segment of the population, let's say, who could afford them, could have them? Would it make more social differences, not less? Quartz notes that an answer to our intellectual limitations might lie not in chemistry, but in technology. We have at the world a kind of limitless information. We put kind of pieces of our intelligence into the world in our, in our technology, in our with computers, with books, with the internet even. So I think the big implication is that the limitations of our brain are being overcome by the use of our technology. Until the apes revolt, for Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.